For most of us, childhood is a happy time. For some, though, it's not. Where corporal punishment is allowed, many parents practice it. For the Council of Europe, it's a breach of human rights and must be stopped. It's humiliating, it's, uh, it hurts them, and it's impossible for us to assess the degree of pain and suffering which a slapping can provoke. A prohibition on smacking isn't anything new. Poland banned it in 1783. Many others have done the same since. Zagreb was chosen for the launch of this new campaign, Raise Your Hand Against Smacking, because Croatia has taken a lead in this area. I think uh, we must um, give the children uh, more uh, love, and uh, love is the key. The Council of Europe is bigger, older, and politically less powerful than the European Union, but it is the guardian of the European Convention of Human Rights, and that includes the rights of children. It commissioned this TV spot, and in wanting to end smacking, it has the full agreement of the United Nations. The United Nations Committee on the Rights of the Child's position is that corporal punishment should be abolished in all settings, the home, the school, the community, the workplace, and in the care or the justice system. Only 18 of the Council of Europe's 47 member states have prohibited corporal punishment, and worldwide only 2.4% of children have such protection. That's why this campaign was launched, but it's also why it'll take a long time to complete. As one delegate pointed out, there could be other obstacles too, as she discovered in her own country of Lithuania. These Christian or lovers of children, um, those who want to protect family as if they uh, justify violence in the family. So the first sentence I always pronounce was, so you want family, uh, you want violence to continue in the family. What is important, I think, is to know that each single case everywhere um, should be treated with respect and all taboos, regardless percent, always have to be um, confronted. The aim is for legal prohibitions, raising awareness and help and advice with parenting skills. Many adults believe that only corporal punishment can bring unruly children under control. The evidence from Sweden suggests the opposite. They have less criminal activities when they become older if they're not smacked when they were a child. I think that was proven in, in uh, research that they carried out in Sweden. So I think it could have a positive effect if children are um, yeah, not seeing that much violence. The children who are more um, participative, more respecting others in schools as they want to have lasting good relationship with their parents. An amazing performance of Mozart's The Magic Flute by the Zagreb Puppet Theatre rounded off the launch, a light-hearted end to a serious event. For too many youngsters, though, there's nothing light-hearted or light-handed about smacking. It's their first taste of violence. First of all, we're going to use a lot of material which will be uh, put at the disposal of all our member states. We have produced, uh, with, the, uh, with the help of uh, great professional help, uh, a spot, a TV spot, which will be made available and which will be shown tomorrow for the first time. Uh, we have uh, provided uh, material uh, for the schools, for the children themselves, uh, but we will also provide material for the parents precisely to explain how, uh, what positive parenting is about, making a distinction, of course, between the different groups of age of children. Uh, with a toddler, you, don't, you can't reason, but you can smile back when the sm toddler smiles to you, and you can show, show the toddler the example, you can show patience, and if you can't control it anymore, you just leave the room for a moment and come back when you have calmed down.